Hey guys, Bobby back here, and today we are playing Making History of the Second World War as Communist China yet again. And newest thing really for me, um, trying this one out with the webcam. I got a new mic. Um, I also got a green screen, so playing around with that a little bit. Um, we'll see how it works out. Um, just trying to see, you know. If the uh, filter and stuff doesn't work 100% properly or some things are a little, you know, fuzzy and stuff on the outlines, you know, I'm working on it. We'll see how it works out and, uh, you know, kind of go from there. Um, the goal is to use it in more of my videos and some streaming potentially and, you know, maybe some other things. I'm not really sure. Um, but it's been a little bit since I've played this for you guys. We are back here as Communist China and this is where we're at so far. Remember, I bungled this pretty hard, didn't I? Ooh, look, they uh, they did win though. That might be might be important to have. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Just in case, just in case it's necessary. All right, so if I remember correctly, we are basically are we at war with China now? We're not yet. We're not we're not at war with Japan or China. But I think the big issue for us is that Japan's taking over all these places. And that sucks because typically what I like to do is I like to get all the stuff from China before Japan has a chance. You know, and I'm kind of in a pickle. It's like, do I wait to see if China fights them off and I can just take that land for myself? Or am I kind of, you know, shit out of luck because Japan's going to take all this and then I just have to kind of build up even more and have to take it from Japan. It's really just a it's kind of a big old mess. Am I ready though if I if I did attack China? I might just have to be honestly. Okay, so We're probably good in a couple turns, honestly. Um, so that'll be an interesting one. Okay. I just don't know if we're ready yet. We just have some areas that need work. Where are we at with this? Um... We're not actually gaining this, though, are we? No. But this does put us here, though. Which is, uh, nice. Do we have enough to... We don't, have, we don't even have the research to make steel yet. That's what it is. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see what we can do. Just make some more enclosed farms. Um, apparently for metal I can potentially expand output there. Weird. I don't know why it's working like that, but I don't know. Alright, let's, let's go through a couple turns, kind of see where things go with this. Um, I, I would prefer if Japan wasn't invading China right now. That would be nice. You know, it's... It's just one of those things. You don't like to see it. You don't like to see it. I did a test video with this uh, green screen earlier with the... Uh, I was playing Call of Duty. And uh, it worked out well. It just... Uh, I, I, the audio balance wasn't proper. And honestly, the gameplay was pretty shit. So, you know, there's that. Okay, so we're probably going to do that... Do that. Um, okay, so that's gonna go there. That's gonna go there. Because uh, honestly, that might be. No. Just trying to figure out where the best place to keep my uh, to send my armies would be. I mean, it's fine. If I'm if I'm a little stagnated for a little bit, it's fine. I'm just curious what's going to happen here. 
I actually haven't played this uh, since the last. I think since th I might have played a, a game or two here and there, but it's been a minute since I've played this. Um, several days. I know it's been several, you know, like almost two weeks since I've uploaded. Um, that was a pretty normal, normal break, as you see from me. Ugh. See, even if uh, even if I got the webcam, I'm still yawning. Let's give it another turn. Um, let's see where we go with this. I I'm probably gonna wait one more turn and then just do it. I think that's the plan. Really, Argentina? You're not gonna give us money anymore? What's up with that? Just not cool. Just not very cool. Really? Buddhist sectarian riots? What's going on here? 63%. Revolt risk low. That's what I thought. That is what I thought. Alright, I'm going to save the game here. Just in case it crashes. Um, oftentimes when I try to invade a country, that's when it uh, decides to crash. Although, honestly, that gives me an idea. I, I would like to do an Argentina game where I play as them and kind of unite South America under our glorious empire. We'll see. That might be something I can do. All right, China. Sorry about you, but uh, things are happening. All right, so that one's that. Just to be safe. Three. That's two militia. That's going there. So that's two. So we got eight. Okay. Now these guys are both going to go here, right? Because, yeah, they'll need that. So there's two there. Then this guy's obviously going there. Okay, so... So that'll happen. And then, okay. Honestly, it's not the ideal game plan, but we're going to just go with it and see what fucking happens. Well, okay, cool. That worked out a little bit. <laughs> cool. That's nice. Oh, look. The Sudetenland stuff's happening with Germany. Nice. Orchestrated by agents from the German Reich. Who would... Who would dare accuse the Germans of doing something devious? Oh, oh yeah, Portugal? You, okay, sure. You want me to take Macau back several decades earlier than I planned on it? Just you wait. Okay, so that's going to go that way. Um, that right there? Okay, that's going our way pretty easily. Okay, so that's going to happen... Might take a couple turns, but I'm gonna go that way, I'm gonna go that way, and then we'll go send some boys that way. Ooh, it's actually pretty much I need to I mean it's fine. What'll happen is this one will end soon. Well, probably a next turn and then Jehol will have to just get next. Honestly, my favorite thing about this game is just there's so much stuff to keep track of. I, I love that it really keeps you on your toes, and it really kind of... It, it gives you so much things to do. So many things you can do in this game. You can play it simply as, like, an, an economic simulator, like you're just simulating running a country. You can play it as, like, a war-conquering kind of, you know, strategy game. Um... Or, you know, you can kind of do a mix, you can kind of do like some role playing, you can kind of just take it at face value, you can really just do whatever you want with it. And, you know, I think eventually I'd like to stream this game too. Um, I'm a little weird with streaming right now. Um, I, I did it a few, I did it like once, I think I've done like one, one stream. Oh wow, that was successful, took over a bunch of land right there. 
Oh, look at Japan. They're solidifying their borders on the Chinese coast. That's great. At least I have another dock. I finally have a dock. Uh, or a place for a dockyard. That's uh, that's exciting. I can finally build, I build a navy. Which usually when I play this... Ooh, conference. Why is Argentina requesting gold from me? You think I can afford to send you money? Um, germ theory or military? Doesn't really matter. I'll research it at some point anyway. Okay, so six and six. So do that. So that'll happen. Let's do this. Finally took. It's signing Shinzi. Yeah, it sounds like Shinzi back. Um, who knows? We might. We might. At least I have some railroads to use. We might be able to take. We might be. Okay. Nope. Okay. Nope. <laughs> I, I thought we were going to have a chance to take more land. That's fine. That's fine. Japan usually leaves us alone at this stage. We'll see how true that stays. Um, really, my biggest thing with them, I'm not worried about the Navy. I'm worried just about having a big enough military to take them on. Um, just, let's get rid of this shit. That we don't have the resources to actually deal with yet. Not idle. Cool, we got three, four more uh, areas to build troops in. That's good. We got two, what, two barracks is building right now. Oh man, I'm yawning. I'm yawning to the point of tears. That's uh, that's when you know. That's when you know. I don't know why. I got like 10 hours of sleep. I slept in like 10 o'clock today. Um, I feel like I want to do a video about this separately, but I'll just mention it here. Um, I did watch today is the day that the new iCarly dropped. Uh, it's first episodes, and honestly, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. You know, all things considered. Um, you know, obviously, like, I'm 22, so, like, when, at the time when I probably came out, I was, like, 9 or 10 or something, so, like, uh, obviously, I grew up with it as a kid, and, you know, it's always been one of those things in my childhood I look back on fondly. So, it's kind of nice. It's kind of cool to actually see, like, for the first time, um like an adult version of like a kid's show, you know, cause I Carly was clearly a kid's show and they don't, they, you know, they touched on certain topics, but not anything too crazy for a kid's show. Um, but to actually see like a reboot revival happen, that's straight up. Like, it's a, it's a show for adults. It's a show for, you know, zoomers and millennials who grew up watching I Carly. And that's pretty cool, honestly, cause you don't really see that that often. Um, and uh, it's funny, I bring that up just because um, Tyler, Devin, and me f uh, finally recorded another episode of the podcast, T-Zach and Friends, uh, for the first time in like four months. It's been a while. Um, but we were kind of talking about that, so if you want to see some more of my thoughts on that, check T-Zach and Friends out. Um, it's on Anchor, it's on Spotify, it's on, I think, most of, if not all of the uh, uh, podcast platforms that you could think of. Uh, I'm going to leave these guys up here just because we're going to need that. Um, we're going to need to defend ourselves from the Japanese. Who would have expected that? Nothing crazy yet. Hmm. <gasps> perfect content just me yawning honestly i should do like a 10 hour y yawning stream or something i bet that would be you know i bet i get like 40 views on that one to uh, one thing i do would like to do is i'd like to go back and watch some of my old channels my old videos and react to them and kind of just you know do my own thing with it um i wonder if this is gonna work i hope it does either way if it doesn't like because, look, I would love to take Hanan. Is this... 
Okay, no. Should be good. Um, I would love to get that. Just that, that would be another port city that I could use. Ja Japan hasn't gotten to it yet. Um, in terms of other content for the channel, um, obviously I'm working on my book still, so I'm trying to, you know, I'll be able to take them out easy. I'm trying to focus on the, really? Fuel supply, okay. Is that something I could just buy? Is anyone selling enough? Oh, okay. Really not gonna, okay, what if I, what if it's 50? Literally 30. 20. Okay. Italy. What about that? Okay. Um, Poland. Actually, I, I would be able to do this. Really? Really? Okay. That's just kind of shitty. Uh, um, I have like a 10, I have a 10 plus diplomatic influence with them. What the hell? Alright, what about 15 and I'll pay for it? Yep, okay. Cool. Let's see if let's see if that works. Okay, I think it will. I think it will, and that means I should be able to take this place over. I'm gonna try to be more regular with this series, um, for the re for for the reasons that I'd love. I really want to carry this on out and kind of just see where I'm able to go with it, you know. But I also would like to get to other games too. Um, other scenarios in this game that I could play. I think it'd be a ton of fun to kind of explore. Like Argentina, I'll eventually do a Germany game, I'm sure. I'll eventually do... Okay, cool, we can take this last territory. Oh, wow, they are... They are quite, quite real, it seems. Quite real. They're still fighting it on... Give her Japan. A lot of times they don't even do this well. A lot of times they fail completely and just get pushed back into Manchuko and then they make sue for peace. It's pretty weird, honestly. And so, um, but all those farms. Not that it's going to do much because all my manpower is going straight, straight to... Straight to infantry. I don't know why I paused so long on that one. Just couldn't couldn't figure it out, I guess. Couldn't figure out what I wanted to say. I was also yawning mid mid sentence, so it's also hot as hell in here. I don't know why. Um but yeah. I'll uh I don't know. I'll think of new stuff to do. Um I got some ideas. There's some games I want to play. I've been wanting to play LA Noir for a long time. And I think it'd be kind of funny because I tried to do a, a Let's Play of L.A. Noir back in the day on one of my old channels. And literally one episode. Didn't even have audio. Didn't even have, like, anything. It was literally just me playing the game. It's the game straight up. No no, 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 voiceover. No commentary. It was just straight up that. Um, I had another commentary on that channel, um, which was, you know, relatively successful. Nice. Nice. Oh, really? Really? That's unfortunate. It was so close. All right, let's see if they don't take him out. Not. See if... Okay, cool. We got Hanan. That's cool. We got another island. Um, Taiwan's the real thing. That's the real... Uh, that's the real prize we're going for. Reunite it with China. Instead of uh, Japanese Formosa or whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it these days. Italy supports Germany. Ooh, annex territory, obviously. I don't know how you annex territory that belongs to you, but... Oh, okay, so that's what happens. It's We're just at war with the kingdom of China now. Perfect. Barracks.
Just making sure there's not anything I could be doing that I'm not. Okay, cool. Really, at this point, the the big thing, because look, we've we've claimed most of China. The, Xing, the Xinjiang clique is obviously still up in the air about what's going to happen with that. Um, Japan's obviously got this part of China. Um, they've got Manchukuo. All things considered, I'm not extremely worried about Korea. Like, you know, obviously Korea will end up being mine eventually. If I have my way. Um, and they'll be a puppet state. Same to be said with Vietnam and the uh, Indochina countries. Um, Thailand kind of just depends. Um, I usually don't try to conquer them, but it also just depends on what I'm thinking. Uh, they don't like me, so I might might just have to take them over. Um, in, in the in the scenario that I take over India from the British, which, you know, who knows what will happen with that. What's Germany up to? Are they up at war with anybody? At least they're giving me money. Which is kind of really weird. Are the Soviets giving me any money? No? It's a little depressing. Who's, who's the country that likes me the most? Spain. Because I supported them. Okay. You know, that makes sense. Well-known supporter of communism. China. Nationalist Spain. I love it. All right, cool. We got that going for us. So yeah, honestly, like at this point, there we go. We got the last remnant of the uh, of the nationalists out of here. China is now under dual control of the Empire of Japan and the Chinese Soviet Republic, which, for uh, ceremonial reasons, I'm gonna. I didn't already name it that. No, I haven't. I was going to say, I always change the name of the country eventually. Um, I have 14 support. What if... Can I do... Th there we go. That's how you do it. We still have a 2% approval rating. Now we're earning 2300 gold per turn, which will just increase our... How much money we have, which means this will go up, up to... I think it's like 50. So, uh, honestly, we're good for a bit. And that's why... We don't even have to rely on these government programs, which, granted, I'm getting a lot of money out of, but we, um, I should probably start, going forward, I'm going to start building distilleries. Um, I think that'll be very important going forward. Honestly, I think I think as you can kind of see at this point, like um, the next goal is Japan. Like Japan's our next enemy. It's really just going to be a matter of building up enough forces to take them out. Um, it, it takes a bit because you just you, really you're just overwhelming them with with the amount of troops that we have, the amount of MPUs that we can summon to uh, fight for us. Um, eventually I'll build, I'll be able to build up enough troops to take them on and then a Navy to take over Taiwan. And then, hmm. cause after Taiwan, like hardcore, like I want to take back this part of China, take back Taiwan, take back Manchukuo, anything past that's gravy. Um, taking Japan would be, you know, really cool to see. It'd be cool to have a communist Japan to kind of balance kind of balance myself and kind of be the next step towards America. Because obviously, like, you know, long-term, long-term post-fighting Japan, post-even potentially fighting the Nazis, if they push they push east and end up at my border, you know, um, which happens definitely most of the time um, in this kind of game. Because the Soviets collapse pretty easily. Because... I don't, think, I don't think Germany's overpowered or anything, but I, I think Germany for sure has, like, an easy time to take over the world if if that's what they want to do. So, uh, you know, I think that's the next step, really. I'm going to build up my forces and push on Japan. Push on them. Take as much territory from them as I can. Um... I might be able to take back mainland China, take back Manchukuo and Korea, potentially Taiwan. We'll see. Um, and if we're able to kind of have a peace for a little bit, 
um, until I can build up a navy to like gut punch them and then take back Taiwan. We'll see what happens. Um, ooh, Berlin Conference. Okay. Okay. That's a good sign. That's a that's a mighty good sign. Um, I literally can't even. I wouldn't even be able to do fuel if I wanted to. So I don't know what the what the big issue is. I don't think I have that yet, do I? Nice thing is they have a little encyclopedia here that we can uh, see. Scientific method. Kerosene. But what about continuous distillation? When does that pop up? A little bit. Okay. We still got a little bit. That's why we have to uh you yeah, know. Cool though. I this is a good sign though. Okay, so cool. The supply rate's going up. Okay. Um, so this is a good sign then. Um, I don't know if I'm able to build, I'm able to build low density. Am I able to build, okay. I'm not able to build, okay, here's what we're going to do. So hike. Hainan needs unpaved roads immediately. Um, are there any that don't have anything? Okay, that's that. So what I'm doing here, I'm trying to figure out where it would make sense to build um, to build up the infrastructure. So right here would be... And right now, what it's purely the, the, purely the reason I'm doing this is because the higher the transportation level... I, my, my brain blanks all the time. Higher the transportation level, the more cities a territory can support. So I'm doing this so that these territories that I'm selecting can have two factories in each city, which means I can build more distilleries or motor works or air, aircraft hangars, you know, so that I can, you know, not be stuck with just a bunch of ironworks. And really, because this is good, because this will take a little bit, but, you know... By the end of it, eventually, what it also does is it makes it easier to travel and send your troops across borders um, and through your country. You don't have to kind of be shit out of luck. It takes ten turns to get across your country. Take, it'll take a couple, you know. So, Lhasa, Chamdo, Kaigan. Oh, wait, that's what I literally just did. Shows what I know. Uh, Chingu... And I don't know if I said this in the other ones, but obviously, if I if I mispronounce these names, um, you know, I apologize. I'm trying my best. I am, you know, not exactly the best at pronouncing those kind of things. Um, so I apologize if it is offensive to anyone. I don't mean any offense, of course. Kozoo... God damn it, these fucking enclosed farms. So, kazoo. Okay. So that's that. Other than that, I mean, we'll just just pick a couple. Still wants to leave me one left. Yeah, that's fine. 15 turns, those will all be good. So, we're good there. We are good here. The Chinese Soviet Republic is doing well. Um, I don't think I finished that thought. So, like, I always wait to rename the country until I claim all of mainland China. Um, I rename it the People's Republic of China because that's, you know, it's what I'm playing as. And, you know, I think it's kind of fun to do it that way because it's kind of like you're proclaiming it just like they did in real life. Um, but, you know, all things considered is a interesting time in history. It's the biggest country in the population-wise in the world, um, up-and-coming superpower clearly. So, oh look at that! Sudetenland is now under control of the Germans. Let's um, 
Let's go take a look at the map. Oh, neither of them are going to take me over there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Adolf, you did it. Good job, boys. I'm also curious what this whole thing right here is going to do to this video. I wonder if that's going to have to be something I eventually do if I, uh, if I ever get this channel monetized or have ads on it. Or even sponsors. I wonder, I wonder like, what the thing with that will be. I don't know, like... I get it. I get why it's like illegal in Germany. It's also an historical thing and, you know, it's kind of important to know what that flag is cuz, you know, you might you might see it out there in the world and be like, "Oh, I wonder what that flag means." They look like normal nice people. I'm sure they're I'm sure they're not Nazis or anything, which to make it very clear, Nazis are bad. It's the reason why they've been the enemy in every video game ever made. <laughs> Not that, you know, not that I'm against having the German side of World War II and World War I portrayed in video games. Um, not to say the Nazis were around during World War I. I know it's a different time. Um, different timeline. Uh, different part of the timeline. Just saying, like, I would, I would like to see more World War I games in general. Battlefield One is one of the rare recent exceptions in several different Steam games that are on there, but... Um, I would, I would like to see more of a German perspective of World War II shown. Um, obviously not, you know, who knows, depending on the take, maybe you do want to show some of the war crimes and some of the, you know, bad things that happened. Um, I don't know what angle you'd want to go at with that. Um, and I kind of understand the logic that you wouldn't want to show that in a video game. You're not trying to focus on that. But if you do choose to show off the German side of World War II, then at that point you're kind of doing the thing where we already show the World War, you know, the side of America and British and the Soviets. What about the, their war crimes? Are we ignoring history by not showing it, or are we just, you know, being susceptible to the bias that our sides, our sides? So I'm Amer I'm American, so obviously, you know, our side. But. I, uh, I, I just think it's funny that we never consider that part of it. Like, we don't ever showcase the war crimes America committed or the Soviets committed or the British committed um, in, in the war games about them. So, you know, I, I think you could totally play or totally have a German side of World War II shown and not show it. But but you could you could create something really sp uh, special in the, in the sense that you know, it sparks a conversation. It kind of puts it in perspective. Maybe especially if it was like, you know, some kind of sequence where like you're going through a town and you're like kind of seeing what's going on. Like, you know, in some of the Call of Duty campaigns you have, um, you know, scenes in, in cities like with civilians and like some kind of big event happens or something to like kind of showcase like the real people. I think you could do something like that and kind of show like, you know, the kind of the the bigotry and the hatred and the subjugation of, you know, stuff during the Holocaust or, you know, something like that. Um, who knows? Maybe that's too much for Call of Duty, who, you know, famously have claimed to not be political, especially with, you know, Modern Warfare 2019, even though it's a very, very political game in and of itself. But, you know, what are you going to do at this point? But kind of going on a tangent here. Um, which is funny because I feel like every time we, me, Tyler, and Devin go on the podcast, we uh, we just have tangents and tangents and tangents over and over. Um, no matter what, really, no matter what we're talking about, we end up we end up going going on some tangent. That's kind of the fun of it, though. It's kind of the point of a podcast, really. You kind of go from one thing and it like kind of tapers off. Um, I have seen both episodes of Loki, and a weird segue, but um. Seen both episodes of Loki. Highly recommend it. Easily the best of the Marvel series so far. And that's coming from someone who loved WandaVision. Loved the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Like, obviously a big MCU stan, if you will. Like, I'm going to like it pretty much regardless. But I, I think for sure Loki's the best so far. And this most recent episode might be the best episode of all of the shows. It's just so good. Very much felt like a finale of like a season. Like if they're going like, to go into season two next. But I'm very excited that it's just the first first two episodes are out so far. Still got four more to go, and potentially a second season. I don't know if that's just one of those like 
rumors with a lot of credibility and a lot of like stuff behind it or if it's like a legit thing that you know we're gonna get a season two i hope so i would be really excited for that curious what they'll go what they'll do with it but who knows um looks like slovakia oh is that are they a thing now is that what that's saying have they made the state yet or is that just not okay it's next turn watch this you're gonna see the slovak state slovakian state i can't remember exactly really wow usually it's like the next turn after that it's kind of weird wonder if it'll be the next one okay so barracks research um might be the next one we'll see um, but yeah, I'm excited to do this episode again, um, do this series again, get back. I will, uh, get, be, be, be getting back into the flow of this. Um, you know, obviously I got the green screen, I got the mic. I'm trying to, trying to spice things up, try it a little bit differently, get a different flow into it. Um, there, okay, so that, that, this is the event that happens first. Basically, Hungary's like, AO Germany, mind, mind the gap, you know, the voice crack there. I don't know why I thought that was funny. But uh, basically they're like, hey, give me all of this. This is all mine. And usually, when I play as Germany at least, I'm just like, yeah, you, you can have uh, you can have Ruthenia. Because uh, it's Ukrainian or whatever. I think it is, right? Yep, Ukrainian. Um, you can have Ruthenia, but Slovak state's mine. I always like to make a puppet state. It's usually the first one you get as Germany. Um, you can have Austria as a puppet state if you want, but... I don't know why anyone would ever do that. Um, it's really nice to have them early on. Because I like to do the Angelus, like right away so I can get those cities, get the industry, get the region. Nemo land, okay. Good for them, they took that. They're just taking everything, aren't they? I don't know why I'm sitting over here. Um, on this part of the map, um, let's get that. Two more barracks is built. Get some universities going. There we go. We are... But yeah, we are at turn 152, 151, um, early of 1939. Um, really, the long stretch at this point is going to be the, the technology. Because um, we're still st doing military sciences, which we've been doing most of this, most of this game. But um, yeah, I think this video, getting near the end. Um, I think this was a good one. We uh, took back the Chinese territories that we could. Um, of course, Japan took way more than I wanted them to. But what are you gonna do? At some point, you can only do so much. Um, but we will, uh, you know, we'll get them eventually. Look at Hungary, acting like they're gonna actually invade. But not Slovakia. Yep, that's... They made the right call. It's the real call. Happened in real life. Ooh, this might mean it happens next turn. Let's see. Well, let's see if this happens. Good for Hungary getting some more territory. Yep, there it is. The Slovak Republic. Nationalists in the ethnically Slovak regions of Danubian Lowland and Carpathia have broken away from Czechoslovakia and formed a separate Slovak state. The new government is seen as a client of the German Empire. Oh, man. I, um, I'm in the Discord for Making History, and I remember one of the, um, the, one of the devs that's in there had mentioned that the, um, they try to not, like, mention leader names too much. They don't try to, men they try to make it very much, like, about the nation itself is doing all these actions, not the leaders of the country. Like, they've steered away from, like, the super personal side of it. Um, they're trying to lean more towards, um, you know, being like you're like the state, you're the nation itself doing these things. Um, it's going to be interesting because I play as Germany a lot and I, I always just annex uh, Protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia. I never 
keep them separate. I always like it, to me, it just makes way more sense just to like claim them as my own. I know in real life that's not what they did. I always just make them part of Germany proper. That just makes sense to me. I don't know why you wouldn't do that, like Prague and Brno. Like, is Brno how you say it? It's probably not, is it? It's probably like Borno. Hopefully, I'm not offending uh, any Czech people watching this video. Um, hello, hello to Czechia if you are watching. Um, you're welcome. You're welcome to watch. I, I would love to. I'd love to have all of you. All nine million? Oh, I don't know how many people live in there. That'd be funny if it was close. Um, I'll have to Google. I'll put it in the description, actually. That'll be a fun little thing. If you've made it to the end of this video, uh, check the description. I'll put the population of Chechia. Um, and we'll see how close. I'm saying 9 million. 9 million people is my guess. But like I said, we're, uh, we're nearing the end of this video. So this is where we're at. Got a little bit left to conquer. A little bit. It's a lot. We're going to have to build up a lot of troops and a lot of a... Uh, kind of a big navy if we're going to take over Taiwan and... You know, hopefully Japan eventually. But, yep, I am. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, uh, subscribe for more. Um, definitely more coming, more content, and you know, any category really. Um, you know, uh, check me out on all the social medias that I got. You know, most of them will be linked down below. Um, check out my website, bobbydhutchinson.com, um, for any future updates on my novel. Um, haven't posted a lot on there recently. Um, I've just been kind of grinding away at it, trying to get through this part of it, this round of editing. Um, I feel like I'm pretty close, so hopefully here soon I can, uh, you know, fully announce everything and do some, uh, special reveals and such. So, if you guys, you know, hope you guys enjoyed. I will, uh, I will talk to you guys later. Mm, bye.